and Patrick, we are standing in front of possibly the largest Bayshore, or excuse me, Boston store recently closed, and this month four others will follow. Experts say the mall needs to change in order to survive. It's kind of shocking to see what's going on at Bayshore. Signs like these are becoming more common at Bayshore. American Eagle and Shaw Jewelers joining Homewood Fired Grill and Sprecher's Pub as tenants in the last month announcing they will close their mall locations. I think it's sort of sad because the way this has been going for years, you know, they, they put all the money into it. I just don't know why it's going the way it is. Oh, it's just interesting. Uh, like I said, it's, it's a pretty, pretty booming area, so I'm surprised that, you know, that the mall wouldn't be doing particularly better. Do you see Bayshore surviving long term? I, yes, I think it will survive, but like everything else in retail, they're going to have to transform themselves somehow. For retail to survive, it has to be an experience. It has to be something that makes you want to go there rather than shop online. The mall's owners hope a $75 million redevelopment plan will help, reducing shopping space and adding a hotel along with more residential options. So you don't see Bayshore becoming a ghost town mall? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I, I, th I think it's too early to throw in the towel on Bayshore. Ben, a question for you. Has anyone from the mall said anything tonight about this? Well, Patrick, we reached out to the mall's owners for comment on those closings, but so far we have not heard back. All right, keep us posted. Ben Wagner reporting live in Glendale.